Hello everybody, this is your second seamless check update and second seamless package update for November 26th. Happy Thanksgiving everybody! Now there's a lot of news in regards to our second stimulus payment and second stimulus package. White House Trade Advisor Peter Navarro says that it's time for another round of stimulus relief. And he is urging Congress to pass more stimulus for families and also to extend the unemployment compensation. There is also rumors that a second stimulus check in our second stimulus package might be smaller than the first. Because as we know, critical unemployment programs are set to expire on December 26th. And since both parties in Congress, the Republicans and Democrats, can I come together to pass a big stimulus check? It might be better for the Democrats to fold and pass a smaller stimulus package. CNBC also reports that weekly jobless claims are higher than expected as the labor market takes hit from the rising cases. Now before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and let's get this video to 1000 likes if you think that Congress needs to pass a second stimulus check. Remember that on this channel, I always provide you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check information. So be sure to subscribe. Now let's take a look at what CNBC says about the current unemployment rate and the economy. It was coming down to 778,000. Uh, makes me nervous that we're seeing another round of weakness in the jobs market. Um, uh, the, the, the continuing claims coming down, I believe, is offset by the idea that you're having people losing their benefits and rolling over into this pandemic employment uh, emergency unemployment compensation. So that seems to be on the rise. I was just looking, that was up by, it looks like, 132,000 in the week of November 7th. So that's a problem. Switch to the other side. I've been quite surprised at the resilience on the business side. Uh, the idea that, that we have a, a, a strong uh, non-defense aircraft, uh, capital goods orders, non-defense aircraft, um, uh, doing up 0.07% or 0.07% is pretty good. The idea that there's still investment going out there. What I was able to see on the manufacturing, on the durable side, is that a lot of it's going on in the computer space. The, uh, the stay-at-home uh, uh, products that are being manufactured really seem to be propelling this economy right now. Um, and we're ready for a shift, Becky, but I think there's a, some, some tough times ahead before the vaccine starts to propel this economy. Yeah, it, probably not a surprise given some of the shutdowns that we've seen, some of the uh, additional measures that states and local governments are taking to right. try and combat uh, what, what's happening with the pandemic. Uh, but uh, Jim, what do you think about that? It, 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 we have been waiting for these signs and maybe we are starting to get a few signs that uh, we're gonna see things that get a lot worse before they get better. I, I, I think we're seeing, you know, like uh, Steve says, a little bit of evidence of that. that Everybody tell me in the comments down below. Do you think that the economy will improve when Joe Biden takes office on January 20th? According to Newsweek, the White House Trade Advisor, Peter Navarro, says that it's time for another stimulus package. Navarro's comments on Wednesday came after his after the Labor Department released data showing unemployment claims rose for the second week in a row as cases spike around the country. He told reporters, What I'm worried about here is that there are millions of Americans out there at risk of falling to the chasm where they don't have sufficient support. This is why a phase four program on a bipartisan level is so important. Newsweek goes on to say, Newsweek goes on to say that Navarro added that while there's a lot of arguing going on, three main points need to be addressed in an economic relief package. Number one, helping small businesses by replenishing the Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP. Second, sending another round of second stimulus checks to families. And then of course, extending emergency unemployment compensation. Navarro said, the administration has done a very good job up to this point. We are facing, however, a chasm ahead for millions of Americans unless there can be a bipartisan come to agreement moment on these core elements. Negotiations for another relief package have stalled in recent months, with Republicans and Democrats offering competing plans. Remember folks, that the Democrats want to push for a bigger stimulus package, Pelosi and, Ch Pelosi and Senator Chuck Schumer will not settle for anything less than $2 trillion, while the Republicans continue to push for a $500 billion spending measure. Folks, tell me in the comments down below, should Congress pass the bigger stimulus package or the smaller one? Remember that McConnell's Republican stimulus bill did not include $1,200 stimulus checks. In May, the House of Representatives passed the $3 trillion Heroes Act. In October, the chamber passed a revised scale down Heroes Act that included a second round of stimulus checks and additional benefits, such as enhanced unemployment benefits for tens of millions of Americans. Meanwhile, the Senate has pushed for smaller, more targeted legislation. Republicans have, 
Republicans have advocated spending about $500 billion for the next relief bill. An attempt, an attempt to pass a smaller bill failed in late October. Now, I also want you guys to know that leaders on both sides of the aisle have faced criticism for leaving Washington for Thanksgiving break. Everybody tell me in the comments down below, should our politicians in Congress go on a paid vacation even though they have not done their job and passed a second stimulus bill? I personally, think is that, I personally believe that it is outrageous to see that our politicians have not even come to the table to help the hardworking Americans across the country, but still are able to get paid vacation. Tell me what you th folks, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Is it right for our politicians to go on paid vacation? Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said in a floor speech last week. Just a day or two ago, the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell decided to break the Senate. And he broke the Senate as there are thousands of people in Texas lined up for food lines. He broke the Senate while hospitals no longer have beds to house the sick. He broke the Senate and dismissed the Senate while 30 million Americans are on the brink of eviction. But everybody, we cannot just blame Mitch McConnell for this. Mitch McConnell is not the only person that is holding back our second stimulus check. Speaker Pelosi continued to promise us long before the election that more stimulus relief was on the way. She even urged airlines not to furlough people because she said that there would be stimulus. However, days after the election and on Thanksgiving Day, no stimulus bill has been passed. Newsweek goes on to say that unless Congress can pass a new deal in the next few weeks, an estimated 12 million workers will lose their unemployment benefits on December 26th, according to a report from the Century Foundation. Pelosi acknowledged that we have to get something done during her weekly press, during her weekly press conference last week. She also stated, and again, they have been resistant on many of the things that we consider priorities. But everybody knows people are hungry, people are fearing evictions, people need the CARES Act provisions to be extended, then address, then address unemployment insurance and the rest. Speaking of unemployment, weekly jobless claims totaled 778,000 last week. This was also higher than the 742,000 from a week ago. And CBS News reports that Democrats and Republicans remain far apart on several key issues, such as providing hundreds of billions in funding for states and cities that have been hit by declining tax revenues amid the pandemic. Even if Congress passes an aid bill early next month, in December, it could, take we it could take weeks for the IRS to electronically deposit the funds into people's bank's account. CBS also says that this would leave many households and businesses hanging, with millions set to lose their unemployment benefits by year end, and nationwide eviction moratoriums lapsing in the new year. Everybody tell me in the comments down below, what should they do to pass a second stimulus check? And how much should a second stimulus check be? Should it be $1,200, $2,400, or $3,600?